What's going on proper squad, Fido Steven here and this the video I was talking about where I'm going to be creating the power armor figure. The day has finally come to put this figure together after all those months of Fallout crates getting a piece each time I finally have all the pieces to make this power armor figure. So let's hope it's worth it, let's hope it looks awesome and let's put it together. I have not, I have not opened a single one of these pieces right here so they're still in the boxes. I have no clue how this looks like, I have no clue how to put it together. I'm going to just put it together as I go and through this video throughout this video hopefully it's as easy as just clicking it together but we shall see so let's open this and see how it goes so this is piece number one right here which is probably the base so I'm gonna put this over here so I don't have to you know so I have building space all right so number one piece number one should be I believe the base this right here should be the base so let's open this up okay Oh no, this is, oh yeah, this is the base and the helmet. So piece number one we have is the base and the power power armor helmet. And holy crap, is this detailed. Jeez. Oh, and it's metal. Or, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely, it definitely has some weight to it. This is, oh yeah, it has some weight to it for sure. This is really detailed. Look at this thing. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is really cool. Oh, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, it's like a little mini power armor. <laughs> Alright, so we got the power armor helmet. This is the base right here. Looks like this power armor resides in Vault 126. Okay, so that's Vault 26. Oh, that's Vault 126. I don't think I've ever heard of Vault 126 before, honestly. That's some made up shit, bro. Some dudes in the comment section. Oh, actually, Vault 126 was part of Fallout 2. It was the main vault you enter. Relax, bro, okay? Not everyone's a Fallout Encyclopedia, okay? All right, piece number two right here is the upper body. So let's check it out. The little helmet. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's see this upper body. If it's anything like the helmet, it's going to be really detailed. And it is. Jeez, this is cool, man. Let's get it out of the packaging here. And it has some weight to it, man. I'm telling you, like, there's some weight to this. I'm not sure what it, it's definitely not metal. It's definitely not metal, but look, look at look at detail that is. This is this was really this is really made carefully too. Like you can tell, it was really nicely made, painted really well too. It has that like rusty feel to it or look to it, I should say. Very nice. Very nice. I am satisfied so far. This is the lower body. The lower body. So this should be the legs. And by the looks of it, it's pretty easy to put together. You just snap it on. Pretty sure a toddler can put this together. Alright, we got the legs. The legs look a little, uh, little tiny compared to the middle part. They're about like the same. <laughs> looks like my power armor figure skipped leg day. Like, look at, look at how small these legs are. <laughs> Like, look at the size of it. Uh, but the legs are detailed nonetheless. Let me just open this up. Okay. Alright, so we got the legs. That's what they look like right there. It, it looks like, it looks like, it looks like they shit, it looks like they shit their pants. Like, it looks like they're wearing pants and they shit themselves. Or they're wearing a diaper. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, what do we got next? What's number four? Number four is right here. Alright. Number four is the arms. We got the arms. Number four to six. Alright, we got the arms. Oh, both arms here. One's not packaged, but the other one was. That's arm number one right there. Look at his little, his little fist. And they got arm number two. Which is, which is pretty much the same thing. Just obviously the other arm. I'm number two right there. Number five is dog meat. This one here should be a cute good boy. Let's see the good boy. Let's take him out of the box. He's been in the box for a while, you know. He's been in the box for quite a while. Oh, would you look at that? Okay, this is uh, this is adorbs. This is just adorbs. Hashtag adorbs right here. We got a little dog meat. Look at him. Look at the little dog meat. He's so detailed too. I like it. I love it. 
has like has like uh, bumps to it. It's back here. It's it's multicolored, two toned, I should say. Got his little got his little snout. His little snout with his tongue. Got a boop to snout. Boop 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 boop. There we go. Okay, we got a beautiful dog meat right there. Actually, put put that in frame. Right there. There we go. Look at the camera. All right. Next up, we got this one here. Has no number to it. It doesn't even tell me what it is. It looks like it's the weapon. So this this must be the weapon that the guy that the power armor holds. This must be the weapon, the laser rifle. Oh no, it's not the laser rifle. Shit! Oh, okay. be good, be good, be good. This right here seems to be. I'm trying to see what gun this is. I can't I can't tell what gun this is. I think it's just an assault rifle, honestly. I think it's just an assault rifle, but I can't tell what the hell it is. I'm pretty sure it's a assault rifle. Yeah. Should, should just be a common assault rifle. And final piece, the final piece we have is Dog Meat's armor. Because look, he's naked. Dog Meat's naked. We need to put armor on him. Okay, this one here opened properly. That's good. Hey, look at that wonderful dog armor. Oh my god, I think it comes with a helmet and everything. Not just the armor. I kind of like my Dog Meat like that though. Well, good thing is you can take the armor off anytime you want, right? If you can get it out of the fucking packaging. So we got Dog Meat's helmet. And we got Dog Meat's armor. And then we got a little Dog Meat collar. <laughs> it's actually a little collar. Jeez. This thing, this thing went all out. Let's put this thing together now. So we got the base. Boom. Okay. This right here goes on the base. There we go. Boom. On the base. Next up, we got the middle piece. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. It's going to be one of those forced to click in type things, eh? Okay, let's take let's take it off the base first. I don't want to ruin the base. So I can put it together like this. There we go. Just gotta give it a nice squish. Boom. <laughs> okay, it seriously looks like it skipped leg day. Honestly, it just looked like it skipped leg day. It looks like, like, like look look at the way it stands. <laughs> it, it stands it stands fine. That's good. All right, cool. Boom. We got that. Uh, what? How did I put the weapon in the arm? That's the thing I don't get. Put these damn arms on. Oh, the real pain in the ass. Come on. Come on. You got it. Get in there. Alright. I think I got the first arm in. I tend to break shit when I try and fix it, so. Hey, there we go. First arm is in. Okay. Boom. There we go. The arms are really tight. You really have to, like, move them around. And the next arm goes in just like this, I think. But the gun needs to go somewhere first, though. So I'd rather put the gun on first. Get that out of the way, you know? I I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who holds a gun like this, but that's the only way I can get the gun to work, so. Take the gun up for now, though. There we go. Boom. Okay. So by, by the look of the pose, okay, that's what we have so far. By the look of the pose, the gun would go on this arm, right? It'd be up in the air. So, I had to put it on that arm somehow. <clears throat> Don't know how though. Oh, there's a little, there's a little, it's a little slit right there. So, I probably have to put it in like this. Oh, I think I got it. I think I just got it. Yeah, that's it right there. I figured it out. This right here goes right into here. There you go. Now he looks like he's actually holding the gun in his hand. That's awesome. That's badass. I love it. Next, let's put the helmet on our buddy over here. Boom. Look at that. That's really nice. And yes, the head is tilted like that on purpose because that's how it's made. Boom, there we go, we have the head. Now the figure is pretty much done. Let's place that on the Vault 126 platform. Look at that, eh? 
That looks that looks gorgeous. I love it. The legs though, I I do I would definitely change the legs a bit, make them a little thicker. But other than that, it looks fucking beautiful. And it has some weight to it. Like it definitely has some weight to it. All right, figure. Now we got we got this good boy right here. First things first. Gotta put this collar on him. Gotta put the collar on him. And you actually have to put it, like, actually have to put it on. You actually have to, like, slide it in between the little, uh, the little loop. Alright, that's the most I, that, that's the most I can get the collar on. It's still on, at least. Look, look, he has a collar! Alright, next we gotta get this armor on him. Now, how do I do this? It can definitely open up this way? Okay, it can. So, I gotta put it around his head first. Like that. Just like that. Perfect. Around the ears. Come on. This is definitely not gonna work. There we go, one ear. Let's get the other one, come on, we got it. Get the other ear, don't rip. Hey, there we go. All right, we got it around. But the collar came off. That's, actually, I don't need the collar because I have the armor on. So it gives you an alternative to have the collar on or the armor, I see. This thing, this thing has to be the hardest thing to put on. Because it's a still figure, right? You gotta try and click it on. This little, uh, little buns right here. This little buns, I gotta put it on right here. Jeez. Couldn't make this any harder. There we go. Click that right in. Boom. Our good boy is now... He is now protected. Look at him. Look at this handsome boy right here. With his armor on. The collar, unfortunately. I know, I'll put the collar right in the gun. There we go. There you go, he's got he's got a little dog meat collar on the gun right there. So if he ever wants to switch out real quick, he just takes the collar off his gun. <laughs> you know, he doesn't really have an inventory system right now, so that's gonna have to work. And then we got our helmet right here. Which I, I literally had to put the ears through this. God damn it. <laughs> I love it! Look at dog meat. Look at Dogmi now. It's like, look at me now. I'm looking so handsome. I'm such a good boy. Give my nose a big boop. Everyone, like the video to give Dogmeat's nose a big boop. If you guys want to give Dogmeat's nose a boop, you have to like the video. Okay? Please like the video so you can boop my nose. Boop, 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 boop. Alright. Cool, cool. And then he goes right there beside. He goes right there on the power armor somewhere. Right there in between his legs. There we go. And that right there, guys, is the finished figure. There you go. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like to Boop Dog Meets Nose. And I'll catch you next video. Fiddle Steven out. Peace.